It was all going so well for the faithful. Lauren's a friend of mine outside of the game. There has been a change in how I know you. Straight out the gate, during the first round table deliberation, they uncovered a traitor. I am a traitor. <laughs> So the traders got their revenge, killing off another faithful and recruiting Brooke Howard Smith. I can't wait to cause havoc tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, he's the guy from Target. Back in the day, cheques were a common way of making a payment. But just when the traders thought they had the upper hand, bam! Matt Heath was sent packing, leaving just two traders remaining again. I was a traitor! Uh, Matt, were you gutted to leave the show? Uh, gutted? I, I don't know if I was gutted. It's kind of like when you leave school camp. It's kind of sad to go home and you're not hanging out with your friends. You've got to go back to your boring house by yourself. I, I was gutted in that regard, but I don't know if I'd gutted to leave. I, I had a great time on the show. He was like a, a bright comet that shone for mm. a couple of days and then yeah. just exploded. What yeah, I was surprised I lasted as long as I did. Well, what did you do wrong? How'd they work out you're a traitor? Um, I think I, I ran this kind of strategy which was acting like a complete moron the whole time. <laughs> And I think the problem was that a certain amount of people knew me already and knew I was pretty much a moron, but not that much of a he moron. Kept, you know, they were like, he they, kept they... getting the name of the show wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I still don't know what the show's called. <laughs> Brooke, Brooke, you're also a traitor. Yes. Um, what makes a good liar? Uh, you know what? I, honestly, and you'll see now that I've kind of transitioned from the faithful, I was faithful. That's easy because you're kind of on this hunt with, and it's so much fun. And then you've got to start lying, and I was terrible. And we'll see how it goes, but I don't know if I've got what it takes to be. You'd think I would, but I don't think. Well, I would. yeah, because you are famously you're a poker player. So yes, did that, famously. Did that, <laughs> famous poker player. Famous did player. that help? Um, it does actually. And we've got. If, if you're following the show, you know that one of my friends who plays a lot of poker, Dan Singer, is there, and he's very good. So now we're both traders. Spoiler alert. Although you can catch up on three now, right now. <laughs> good plug. <laughs> yeah, thanks. But Still Dan, got and I, it, bro. Dan and I are both traders now, the two poker players, and we're up against a bunch of people that are trying to find out if we're... Yeah, Chris, do they still have Target on three now? Because I've been looking to catch... We should, we should bring back Target, guys. I need the work. This is my last shot. Um, I, this is not so much a question as just some feedback that you can ignore if you want, but your haircut's much nicer now, Matt. You look really good. I was pretty oh. scruffy. Oh, thank you so much. Yeah, I've seen a little bit of this trader show, and uh, my hair was all over the shop. Yeah, and you look... At one point, I was wearing pyjamas, and... <laughs> <laughs> I actually thought I was I was the one there to hook up. I thought it was sort of like a Love Island situation. I thought maybe someone would like the long hair. Yeah. I get there, I find it's a sort of a murdering situation. And, and there's can, no can I just to... say, you don't smell amazing right now. Yeah, I've been out all night. I went to the, the football last night. I haven't landed the plane since... Wait, 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 wait. you've been out all night? Yeah, I went to the football last night. It was fantastic. <laughs> what a great game. But you but do I... morning radio. Yeah, I just cruised right through. <laughs> And I'm still going, and it's, it's just like I'm... OK, let's be I'm holding it together well, I, I on, think. On Matt, and um, question about the show, because a lot of you guys have all worked together and sort of know each other, have friendships before the show. Mm. Like, does it actually properly mess up your relationships? Because mm. I've fallen out with friends over, like, mm. Monopoly. Yeah, yeah. it's pretty, pretty tough, especially because there were key people that were definitely throwing friends under the bus. <laughs> but but Brody's first thing oh was forming a pack with Mike Peru, and that just went out the window straight <laughs> Brody, Brody was, I was protecting Brody because she's a good friend of mine. So my one thing when I was going to the conclave was make sure Brody doesn't get. I was changing yeah, yeah. the conversation away from Brody whenever she was about to get murdered. And then I <laughs> go into the bloody thing, and it, like she's like, "Yes!" She had killed me and celebrated like jumping up and down. So this so is, I was protecting you. This is topical because if AI is coming for us, she is our Linda <laughs> Hamilton, guys. She is, she is able to organise, mobilise and execute. Um, man, it's been such a, a hit. It's called The Traders. You can stream it on 3 now or you can watch it the old school way on Mondays and Tuesdays, 7.30pm on this channel. Please thank Matt Heath and Brooke Howard Smith. <laughs>